So how cool is this? Father Peter here, Ned Tipton there, Director of Music Ministry, St. Mark's Episcopal Church, New Canaan, Connecticut. Welcome to the video log. Ned, too many people do not get to see what you were just doing. That's true. It's really true. So uh, how long have you been here? Mm, about six, seven weeks, six who's or, counting? Yeah, yeah. Well, the rest of us, all of us, who are not counting either, in six or seven weeks, you've done amazing things with our music program. Thank you. You really have, and we're really moved by you and the choir that you work with, uh, raising our hearts to the glory of God. Uh, but not only do people not see your organ, they don't often get a chance to chat with you. So this morning, I just want to have a few words with you. Okay. So uh, you went to Oberlin to study the piano, as far as I can tell. And so how did you get from studying the piano to studying the keyboard and church musicianship? Well, that's true. I went to Oberlin to study the piano. I was supposed to be a concert pianist, but then I decided I didn't want to spend eight hours in a day practicing the piano, and I wanted to spend my time making music with people instead of huh. oh, wow. in front of them. Wow. Well, that you're doing, and uh, you have a degree in conducting too, as I understand, Correct. and it shows as you're conducting our people. So one of the things you brought to us that we can all hear, you know, when we hear, we don't just listen with our ears, we hear with our hearts. Uh, you have brought a real genuine spirituality to the music that you play, and I wonder if you could just say a word about that, the spirituality of the music you make to the glory of God and how that grows out of you and how that affects you. Well, all the music that I plan that I play in the service is somehow related to that service, um, be it the, the theme of the day, the text, whatever. And so if you're, if you're playing or singing, performing music, um, just as pure music, that's one thing. But if you're performing music, which serves a purpose, say for example, when you're singing music, uh, singing enlarges the meaning of the text. Mm. And I tell my choir, we must sing with understanding of what it is we're singing. Don't just sing notes and words, sing the thoughts. Yeah. And so the, the music that the choir sings um, elaborates and beautifies the, the service. No doubt. I mean, you're not singing the phone book. Uh, no. You're not going from A's to B's to C's. So sometimes we're really moved by the music. Are you ever moved by the music while you're playing? Or are you too caught up in it that you're just executing the music? Or are you moved by the choir? I mean, is it ever... I mean, it affects us. Does it affect you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I sometimes... Um, yes, it does. But I have to catch myself because if I allow myself to break down into tears while I'm playing right. something yeah. or, or conducting the choir... <clears throat> can be a problem yeah. but uh, but that's when I know that uh, it's it's reaching it's it's reaching me and it's and it's probably reaching the, the choir yeah. and and the congregation yeah beautiful yeah the right things happening I have that in weddings when I see the bride come up the aisle I sometimes have to kind of put down an emotional wall I'm like right. wait a minute I can't get emotional here I actually have to work to do the uh, job. Right. Yeah. So uh, you grew up in North Carolina. You started in small churches. You went to Paris. You right. went from Paris to Los Angeles. You right. went back to Asheville, and now you're in New Canaan. These are these are uh, different uh, holy petri dishes. I wonder if you <laughs> might say a word about uh, the differences, any of the differences, what it's like to be here versus all those other places. Well, it's wonderful. I I, uh, I was blessed to have been in Paris for. 21 years, Los Angeles for seven, and back to Asheville for a year and a half, and then I feel more than blessed to be here in this wonderful place with the most wonderful staff and people and, and the proximity to New York. I was just in uh, uh, New York a couple of days ago to hear King's College at St. Thomas, which it would, would not be possible if I were still right. in Los Angeles, and I love it. Yeah. Well, we love having you here. Uh, uh, just a, a word for us about what's coming in Easter and mm -hmm. musically and what, what the folks have to... A <laughs> lot. That is true. <laughs> a lot. We have, uh, of course, Palm Sunday. Uh, then we jump to uh, Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, Easter Vigil, uh, Easter morning, two services with brass and timpani, and then we have a little rest, we hope. Yes. Well, I know you're going to go to Paris after Easter, which will be most assuredly a well-deserved rest. Mm -hmm. I want everybody to know there's been extraordinary work that goes into each of the liturgies that Ned just talked about, uh, the planning of every movement, all of the music, very closely planned. 
all so that we might have a more deeper union with our Lord as he walks uh, the way of the cross and as he is uh, resurrected by the, the Father in heaven for, for a new life, a life that we all live together. Ned, you're helping to bring that Jesus life to all of us by what you do. We're grateful to you. We're grateful to the choir. Uh, and we're grateful that God's providence has brought you here because, uh, as so many of you know, we had closed the search uh, by the time Ned came into play. And uh, it was clear that the Lord's providence has brought you here. And boy, what a blessing you've been to us. Well, thank you. I'm really yeah. happy to be here. Okay. Well, peace and blessings to you. Peace and blessings to this machine. Peace and blessings to our choir and our congregation and all of you out there in TV land. Take care. See you again soon.